Hi, I'm Matt. I'm Manish. And I'm Brianna. We are the interns at Lab Recon, and today we are going to be discussing our next endeavor, the Miller-Urey experiment. This is the first time ever that this experiment will be performed giving anyone the chance to participate in creating life. So what is the Miller-Urey experiment? It was a research experiment conducted in 1953 by scientists Stanley Miller and Harold Urey. They used a multitude of flasks consisting of gases and water abundant in the early Earth to simulate how early life was formed. Over time, they were able to create amino acids, the building blocks of life. With Lab Recon's internet functionality, we will be able to reproduce their work and control it over our website, allowing users to interact with the experiment and take part in recreating life. Our experiment will consist of some flasks and tubes. We are using methane, carbon dioxide, ammonia, nitrogen, and water vapor to create our very own prehistoric atmosphere. As a catalyst for our experiment, we will simulate lightning using pure tungsten electrodes connected to a 100,000 volt Tesla coil controlled through a fiber optic cable by the Lab Recon chip. We have several openings for sensors and caps to keep everything airtight. All of our joints are ground glass which will be sealed with Teflon sleeves. To induce gas flow and condensation in the container, we are using a condenser that will cool vapors in the flasks using a coil of water being chilled by a thermoelectric cooler. Throughout the process, we will be using the Lab Recon software, breadboard experimenter, and chip to measure the pH, pressure, temperature, and conductivity of the mixture. The software will periodically extract samples of the water using a peristaltic pump. We will measure the opacity of the water using an absorbance spectrometer that uses deuterium and tungsten light sources to read wavelengths from 100 nanometers to 700 nanometers. In addition, we will host the software on our website, labrecon.com, under live web feed. This will allow users to control the artificial lightning from the Tesla generator, along with a heating element and ultraviolet LEDs of 365 nanometers to simulate sunlight. Over here, the recon mini DAC can be seen next to a quarter. In our Miller Urey experiment, we are using the mini DAC to control the UV light source and lightning. Here, I have the interface on an iPad, and I'm going to demonstrate the lightning control. We can see the UV light source at work here. When we turn on the UV light source, it illuminates invisible ink, which is only visible under UV light. For more information, check out our webpage with updates coming soon.